So, this is a step by step installation of KitKat ROM on Shishpady Play. As you see now, I'm on gingerbread and I hope it works. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna reboot to recovery. Um, you have to make an partition. I'm gonna make with two gigabytes. Okay. Uh, it works on any custom kernel you have. Just do this. This. Okay. Download the files. Put in your SD card. Be aware that this step can erase all your SD cards. Okay. So, backup. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna go to advanced. I'm gonna partition the SD card. Read to. Okay. And swap. With one one twenty eight. Okay, so let's do this. This is gonna take a while, so I'll be back soon. So, okay, it's done. The partition. Uh, I recommend that you use another SD card because this probably will wipe your data so um, I have replaced mine for a normal SD card 4 gigabytes and I just did the, the patching okay as you see in recover so now I have this space available uh, you just pass just transfer your files, these ones, okay, same those, cm 12 last build in PA gaps, the minimum. I will leave the links on description or on my on my blog, okay. So you pass these two files to your new passionate SD card, as you see. I I have it already passed, okay? I have transferred the files and I have it here as you see. Okay? Now we're gonna disconnect the phone, just turn off the phone, you go to your folder, CM12 folder, just right click and open it you have the boot image here just extract without confirmation and you will have it here as you see you can change the name and you wanna do the fast boot ok just Fast boot and now connect the phone, press the search button on your phone and plug the micro USB. Okay, so as you see, I'm on fast boot and I'm gonna select the kernel. So I have it here, just choose image here, as you see at default it's seen but you change to image and it's here, so fast boot, it's flashing, done, already, close, closed, now unplug your micro USB and 
turn the phone on ok as you see the light is pink when the light pink opens you just press volume down now we're gonna do the wipes wipe that in factory reset okay we let all the user data it's wiping okay now apply update and choose from SD card and here we go just flash ok and <coughs> here we go it's flashing the ROM ok just wait a bit I will be back I think it's done just reboot let's wait this process may take you five minutes or so to flash the ROM okay so wait and now let's see how long it, it takes to boot okay it's booting so let's see so here it is the lollipop okay again I'm, I'm gonna put in English for everybody understand okay but it's multi-language so okay United States Let's see the Wi-Fi. I'm gonna connect to my Wi-Fi network as you see the keyboard. Connecting, it connected. Okay, I'm gonna skip this. We're gonna skip this. We're gonna skip this. So, okay, here we are on Lollipop. For this pay play, okay. So you have the settings here. As you see, the Wi-Fi is working. As you saw, Bluetooth is working too. As you see, this pay play is visible. Accept all files, okay. I'm gonna disconnect now. But it's working. I have network. Okay, I'm gonna put only 2G to see. I have the APNs working, so I can use data. I don't know if it if it works fine at this point. Clock style. You see the center clock. Better next to the icon, okay. Teams you can change the teams, okay. 
and as you see you have the performance here ok balanced and two ok to enable the developer options just click seven times here in the build number ok and you're gonna have developer options as you see you just put here apes and the DB a key rear to have root access ok and you have many options here is a lipo. So, dating time. Okay. And let's see the the free run. Okay, and amazingly, you have two, one, four, three ROM. Okay, so this ROM is working uh, fine, as you see. Here it is. Okay, so after you boot the ROM. You just enter recover again and flash the PA gaps, okay, and reboot, and everything is gonna be fine. This is amazing work. So, subscribe my channel and follow my videos. I'm Smokerman. If you any having any comments, just post them on my blog. Smokerman, she's there point blogspot point pt okay reboot and you are done after you install the pi apps it's gonna take a while okay don't be nervous just wait it seems to boot loop but no it takes a few minutes wait at least five minutes if it doesn't boot something is wrong but as you see it's booting for me just install the files I will put on the link or on my blog okay this is step by step so it works for me it must work for you